Have you heard of the grandparent scam? It's the newest thing for scam artists, and it could be targeting your elderly family members. WBKO Zach Gammon reports from Barron County. Just do a quick internet search for the grandparent scam, and you'll see thousands of links to cases of people falling victim. And it's happening in our area. They've reported that several people have been gotten for two, you know, four, six thousand dollars. The attorney general's office says these people are targeting the elderly. They call them and claim to be a family member. They say they need help and con the victims into sending them cash or wiring them money because they believe they've fallen on tough times. With the internet these days, it makes things a lot easier to uh, happen. You know, your personal information sometimes is on the internet. Trevor Phillips with the Barron County Sheriff's Office says at least two people in the county have gotten calls from these scammers. The lady said, he said, hi, Grandma. And, you know, the lady was kind of hard at hearing, and, and she said, you know, is that you, Devin? And so right then away, you know, uh, he knew that their grandson's name was Devin, so he was able to go, you know, and play on that from there to keep getting information from them. But luckily the woman didn't send any money, and he hopes that's the case for anyone else who gets a phone call. Make sure you know who you're talking to, obviously. Uh, maybe ask them some personal information or ask them information about you, something that they're going to know. Phillips says the best practice is to never give out personal information to anyone on the phone and always remember that anybody can be a target for a scammer. In Barron County, Zach Gammon, WBKO.